works, you know what? Every summer that Africa is the hottest continent and has many deserts. I know, I learned that because of actual climate, many plants cannot grow. So, some countries are facing food crisis. Yes, the people from Kenya realized the problem too, so they wish to help crops grow like cactuses. Wow, it sounds really cool. Let's welcome them to our stage. has bothered me a lot, whereby many people die of starvation. Many people not only die of starvation, but also cannot afford a balanced diet. Come to think of it, 75% of Kenya is arid and semi-arid, whereby cactus and boba grow with less difficult. I plan to lead a team of scientists where they can come up with crops likened to the growth of cactus for example, maize, sweet potatoes, beans, produced with very little water. How do I do this? I will need a team of botanists for plant study, medics to check safety, environmental experts for environmental safety, and fellow children for change. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? Join me in this journey of food security, sustainability for a better cake. Ocean Primary School, Design for Change Club. Yay! Kenya's team has not been able to come to the stage and share with us. But we have a friend from the DFC Kenya, who will share with us. Also, there is a video of the Kenya team who has brought us a video. So unfortunately, the Kenya team cannot be here in person to share with us their story. But we do have a partner from DFC Kenya. But before that, we will watch a video from the Kenyan team. For those who participated, thank you for embracing ICANN mindset into achieving the development goals. For last in Kenya, we are excited to be part of DFC. Sorry we could not make it there. We are so grateful for the opportunity given to us by DFC. We continue participating in the change brought by DFC. Okay. Do you know what kinds of plants have they tried to grow in this project? Yes, so children in Kenya uh, realize the problems with food security and we've been engaging them into uh, themselves establishing children gardens in the schools and growing like maize, vegetables and sweet potatoes. Do the students face any difficulties? How do they slow? Less difficult. Yeah, they face lots of difficulties. One is uh, Kenya, the way you've heard, is in, uh, mostly arid and semi arid. So these children have to come up with innovative ways to plant or to maintain their gardens even during dry spell periods. And how they have done this is they've been doing uh, mulching. They've been also uh, coming and linking with us as scientists to make sure we give them the best products. But apart from that, they want us to do research and come up, come up with plants 
that can grow as cactus. <laughs> Has the project impacted many people? Indeed, many children have been involved in this project, mostly within the school, and now the school is also going out, and they have done several talks with high-profile level delegations like ambassadors, directors, scientists, and they're doing great work. Okay, thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you. <laughs> now, now we need to go here. Yes, right. Everyone, when I count to three, please say, 任务成功. It means mission accomplished in Mandarin. One, two, three. Rahu Shankar.